Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lewis and today we'll be reviewing the Shape Generator add-on uh, made by Mark, available on Blender Market for $21. Really cool add-on, I really liked it and uh, let's dive in. So to start off to access this add-on, I have a sphere here, uh, let's delete it and it's accessible through the shift a menu okay the the menu that you use to uh, add your primitives it's it's going to appear a new shape here called shape generator a new icon and if you click here it will give us um these parameters these crazy parameters here uh if you are new to blender maybe it's going to appear like this so you need to click on this little arrow here down below and it will expand the settings to us make sure you don't uh, click on anything on the viewport like drag the shape around because when you drag and release it uh, it will account like you appended all your settings and you won't be able to edit that shape anymore okay so you need to delete it and add it again uh, to appear the settings here uh, I'll just apply a simple material here so we can have a better uh, shading on the viewport and this is a really pretty straightforward add-on uh, it's devoted to give us random shapes and by random shapes I mean procedural like uh, not exactly like Houdini but it will give us a different number of extrusions and you can bevel it and start up with a really interesting primitive shape it is not exactly a cube or a sphere, for example. But anyway, uh, let's focus here. If I change this number, you can see that the add-on is giving us already, whoa, really crazy shapes to start off. So here on the extrusion uh, tab, if we close the random seed, you can see that we can set a number of extrusions. So if I put this to around 16, 18 20 20 extrusions it will give us almost like so you can also set like minimum extrude uh, extrude uh, length a max extrude length those are pretty straightforward parameters taper so if you want to uh, bend that around at a max taper rotation as well because this is actually being mirrored um, across an axis. You can also mirror across the Y if you want, or you can mirror across the, uh, the X uh, axis. So this already gives us a lot of experimentation by default. Um, so let's continue here. You can also slide set a max slide, a minimum slide oh man this is really awesome uh, you can also um, say to it to favor one of the axes so if you want a more straight or a narrow horizontal or vertical form this is, those are the parameters that you need to look for uh, favor like if I set it to favor Y I can load the, the Z and the X and now it will favor the, the Y axis as you, as you can see here and have a really simple shape. Let's change the random seed around one more time. This is looking cool. Yeah, this is awesome. And let's see overlapping faces you can check to unselect overlapping faces so you have a more um, straightforward topology to work with otherwise you have a topology intersecting with each other and this is a interesting setting for those working with game assets I usually don't like setting up uh, so many extrusions exactly to try to get something more stable like this 
Like this form here can be easily set as, as a, the motor or the back structure of a car engine, okay? Like the main frame of a car can easily be used as this form here. And this is just a start, guys. I mean, you don't need to use the form as it is. Uh, when you like the form, there is a, this little add button here that you can click and you can name your preset. So let's name this car, car frame and click OK. And now we have the car frame preset saved with all the little settings that we already um, structured around here. So next time, if I want something similar to that, I can start off from a preset, okay? And you can create as many presets as you want. I will show you now some of the shapes I got playing for 30 minutes with the settings. As you can see, really interesting uh, variations. And easily pass this as uh, wings, good hues, um, all ship uh, structures, vehicle designs, no, uh, your imagination is the limit, really. No. Um, of course, you can always clean up the mesh. You want to change a little bit the scale, so it's always changeable. And of course, uh, when you start combining them on different angles, you can quickly prototype uh, concepts, right? Uh, and then from this stage, you can start polishing it. To more accurate uh, results and start your own pieces you know you can set maybe uh, this fits right here you know maybe this can be cockpit um, and you start modeling your own turbines um, and here I have a little kit bash set uh, that I assembled together really simple shape is nothing special you know using a array modifier and uh, a, a simple D form to create these turbines and start uh, attaching them around here. You no, know? so uh, as you can see, it's really easy and really quick to to put up something for a client or a creative job that you need some different iterations for for designs like that. I hope you enjoyed this add-on. Thanks, Mark, for. Um, uh, sending the, the add-on and uh, making myself available to, to test it. Um, next versions, uh, a few tips. I think that it would be really awesome if the shapers gave us uh, some pre-made UVs, if you can implement that. I don't know if it's possible, but uh, that would really fasten the workflow uh, way more because the shapers would have already Reestablish it seams, and with these seams, I could edit them uh, to UV unwrap them faster than I actually do. And some of them are kind of complicated, you know. Some forms you really take a little bit of time to UV unwrap it. So that's I think would be a great addition uh, to that. Also, for those of you that are interested in this uh, user interface thing that you're using here. Shameful plug, I know. Um, so um, you can come here to Teams. I'll be leaving the link on the description below too for, for that thing. Uh, I made three different uh, UI uh, versions for Blender with red, green, and blue variations. You can get it on my gun rolls too. And um, really glad. Hope you guys enjoyed this add-on. And until next time, see ya guys.